Hey everybody, I wanted to make a new introduction on a video I did a while back on refinishing these Jeep wheels. They lost their clear coat and things, and I wanted to make a new introduction because I had a really nasty YouTuber point out to me that I say, uh, mm, too much. And actually they're right, so I decided to make a new introduction, even though they're a terrible person, and they know who they are. So let's get started. Okay, we're getting ready to prime, paint, and clear coat. I'm not a professional painter, I'm just an amateur, and there's tons of YouTube videos out there with real professional painters that give you all kinds of advice on this stuff, so I'm going to leave that up to there. So I'm just going to shoot my three coats, and what I have here is an old uh, crummy kitchen timer, so I can set that for about 10 minutes between coats just to let some solvents flash off and let the paint solidify a little bit. And, um, you know, the great news about it, this is lacquer, and it dries in a hurry, and um, even if you get, after you get all done with this job, and it looks, you're not happy with the way it looks, sand it off and do it again. Don't be afraid. It's not like you're painting the body of the car where maybe it's a little more crucial that you get it right the first time because you're spending tons of money and time. So, don't be afraid. You could do this. It doesn't look right. I don't know how this is going to come out. I may have to do it again. So, well, let's move on. Okay, I just got one clear coat on. I'm going to put a second one on. Don't forget your protection. Even though it's lacquer paint, it's still not good for you. It's, I mean, it's, lacquer is a hell of a lot better than urethane, but still, it endures fumes and it's just not good. You got one set of love. Protect them. That's it, it's good enough. I waited flash times between coats. I stacked it a little heavy on the last coat because I wanted it to kind of burn in and uh, reduce some of the orange peel. Plus, there's enough on there that if I want to um, wet sand, say the flat spokes later on, but I think, you mean from right here, I, I'm in love with it. It just looks great. Okay, so one wheel down and three more on the vehicle and a uh, full dress spare to do because that was affected as well. And uh, you can see maybe from here the difference, but here is the, uh, say the rear one, it is not done yet. Okay, and we'll pan over to the front one that is done, coming out a little bit so you can see it better. And that's it, and it looks, it's you know, it's painted, it's not the color of the aluminum you're seeing now, it's paint like most wheels are. 